So yeah, when that happened, that shit was in the front page of every news. People are like, what is this? This is abnormal. I mean, society is never gonna accept this. <laughs> A lot of people on all over the internet, social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram are talking about this. I thought, you know what, let me actually have a look at this and see what I find about this. And if it is true, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, when you first look at the image, it doesn't seem very harmful. Because um, I'm looking at it right now. You just see a kid, you know, um, standing on top of a sofa holding a doll now it's only when you actually pay attention to the doll uh they're holding it's when it starts to look kind of creepy because it's got like straps around the neck uh you might think okay that's normal but it's got like you know um it, it attaches to another strap down here in the waist area and they're both attached to each other uh plus um there's another creepy doll next to that, uh, next to the sofa. And when you look at it, it's just, there's a little hint of creepiness in the photo. Now again, I'll have the photo somewhere probably in, you know, next to me. Uh, but no doubt the people who are running this company, people who are um, showing the ads, this is actually very calculated. Uh, very thought out well thought out you know because a lot of these people they're actually pedophiles they're really satanic and they worship the devil for real there's, there's no lying about that you know because or else why would they be doing something like this where they actually have uh you know documents of pedophilia on their on their advertisement like why it's very, very, very calculated when you think about why they do what they do. Why, like, why? Why? Why would they do something like this? You know? Get little kids, children involved. That's how you know they're sick. They're sick mentally. Because what they want to say is that even though they have come out and apologized and pulled the ads out, they want to normalize pedophilia. They want to normalize grooming children. They want to normalize all of that. They want to make it seem like it's like gay, lesbian, non-binary, transsexual kind of thing. You know, just another fetish. Or some people have animal fetish. It's just one of those things they want to make it seem like it's not normal. That's the liberal agenda. But uh, you're not going to get away with that. Uh, and you know what? Um, even the people who are sponsored by these big brands, they haven't really come out and said anything that's, uh, that's meaningful. You know, they haven't said, you know what? Like, indeed, what you guys are doing is wrong, satanic, this. And I don't know. They're like, oh, if it is true, then I associate myself from this and... You know, like beating around the bush. You know, they're not very, very strong when they make a statement because they're they've been paid millions of millions of dollars by these companies. They've got all the money to give to the highest um, celebrities. And think about the people who they do pay to promote their product. They're not they're not the best role model. Let's just put it that way. I mean, they're Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is one of their best role model, right? I mean, one of their best um, model from Balenciaga. So, and, and the family, you can tell they make money off showing skin. That's it. Well, what talent she got other than, you know, making videos of... <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to get off topic here. But I mean, what kind of company would promote people like that? You see what I'm saying? So if you have companies that pay you because you came to fame making porn videos, what do you expect from companies like that? How much better do you expect them to really be? You know, 
can we really expect anything better from Balenciaga? I don't think so, you know? They're satanic, they're evil, and this was, uh, they said it was a mistake and this, and I don't buy it. They might pull the ass, they might act like it, but you know how it is. This is like, you remember Madonna and Britney Spears when they had the first lesbian kiss on camera? It was such a shock. It was a like, wow. How could people do something like this back in the days? When, what year was that? Let me let me Google real quick. One second. I think it was Britney Spears. Kiss year. It was in 2003. Britney Spears and Madonna kiss at, Brit at Britney's wedding. Yeah, it was in 2003. And whoa! This is 2023, almost 20 years ago. We're 20 years Oh my God, time flies so fast. Holy shit. So yeah, when that happened, that shit was in the front page of every news. People are like, what is this? This is abnormal. I mean, society is never going to accept this. You know, and fast forward 2020. You, if you think... This is wrong. You're a bigot. You're 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 full of hate. Uh, you know you're backward. You're intolerant. You're homophobic. <laughs> that was back in twenty twenty three when we first saw that. We're like, holy shit! How can this be? How how could this be possible? A woman, a woman. Watch this. In tw in twenty years from now, pedophilia is gonna be like. It's just, it's just so normal. It's just another day, you know? And if you have anything to say against that, it's going to be like, oh, you're, uh, you know, a pedophobic. Pedophobic, you're hateful, you're uh, intolerant, all of that. Because this is the start of that. This is what... Britney Spears and Madonna was back in 20, 2003. Watch my words. You know, stay safe. Don't stay woke. <laughs> Peace out. Right hand.